What's good, everyone? It's your boy Dubs, and I'm back at it with another banger. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button as we are getting closer and closer to our goal of 17k subs before NBA 2K24. But I can't do it without y'all. Make sure you hit the little bell icon and make sure to switch to all so you don't miss out on any more content. And smash that like button. Let's try to get the video up to at least 24 likes. I know y'all can do that for me. So today we got something very, very important to talk about. And the discussion is going to be on the NBA 2K24 Builder. Now, I'm going to give y'all my biggest tip. And y'all, a lot of y'all know me from my build videos. And a lot of y'all really rock with my builds. I'm going to give y'all one secret and one secret only. When it comes to the beginning of NBA 2K, and this is for every single game, no matter what they do with the builder, there's only one thing you got to keep in mind. It's not about what build is going to be broken. It's not going to be about what exploit is going to be hot. It's going to be play your game. Play your game. That's as simple as that. This is my day one build. He's a three point point forward. Very, very safe. You could use this build right now if you want to, to this day. 84 driving dunks still get you pro contact dunks. You got a 92 three ball, but I made this build to my game. I knew that off rip, no matter what, I want to be able to be a good passer, have Hall of Fame quick first step, and be able to move. This is before we knew that speed with ball was gonna be some either. So I was willing to take the risk of being slow because I'd have Hall of Fame quick first step. 92 three ball. I'm always going to be an elite shooter on the floor with a 92 three ball because I get gold limitless. So it's like, I'm not really too concerned about what exploits because I got pro contact dunks, which is good enough. So if I create the space, I'm able to go dunk on somebody. And I have serviceable defense. The moment I seen I at least had silver clamps and Hall of Fame menace, I already knew, okay, I'm dropping attributes. I'm gonna be able to stay in front of somebody. I'm always gonna be playing with people who are either a lock and a center so it's like i don't really need rebound and i was playing a lot of rec too so 75 still now obviously i wish i should have bumped that up to a 78 but i figured a 75 still would be serviceable which it is 76 black at least i have gold um chase down artist so i can hold my own on defense interior defense is lackluster and i knew i was going to take a hit there but i didn't find myself you know being in the paint because this is a point guard even though it's a small forward this build was meant to run the point guard and 82 speed and acceleration, which is good. 80 strength, because I didn't know if strength was gonna matter and just having bronze bully badge. Now I will say, I do get bumpy with people a lot with 80 strength and all my lockdowns out there know that strength does matter. But before we knew it didn't matter that much and bully badge wasn't gonna activate that much, 80 strength was super safe. 75 vert, so I still got my contact dunks and a 95 stamp, I didn't wanna risk it, I wanna have energy. So this build was super, super safe. That is going to be your key to the beginning of NBA 2K24. We're gonna react to a video from Uncle Demi. If you're not subbed to Uncle Demi, I'm gonna throw a picture up of his channel. Y'all make sure to go sub to him on YouTube, follow him on Twitter. He is the head of the Next Makers and he literally has just been giving us little bits of information and insight. The reason why his insight is so valuable is because he's already played the game and kind of has an understanding plus years and years of wisdom to add on top of it. So. Let's go ahead and react to the video. Like I said before, make sure to go show Uncle Demi some love. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today, we're gonna get right back into the My Player Builder for NBA 2K24, but before we get into the video, though, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's liking up the video, puts the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and puts you a note again for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. Oh man, oh man, oh man. You know, some stuff that came out that was really golden that really made me excited. Uh, once again, man, I've been leaning on my man Mike, man. Shout out to Mike Wayne. Um, he was going crazy with the information. Um, and one of the tweets he did, it was actually replies. So my man 2K Day said, at Baluba, what's the sweet spot in your opinion on ball handle and speed with ball? What ratings will unlock the top tier animations? Okay. Baluba replied, I really like Steph and Trey Moves, so I usually go 92. Now, he's saying 92. He's talking about ball handle. And then he said the highest unlock is Steve Francis, which is the six size up at 95. So, as you can see, Steve Francis, which is one of the best dribble sigs, is now going to be at 95. It looks like Trey Young and, and um, Steph Curry is still going to be at a 92. But what that means is, is that obviously... The Steve Francis size up, remember now with pro play, things are different. Um, obviously, he's going to be the best size up, right? 
and I spoke about this mm. before in my other videos. And I kept saying, I was like, yo, like, you know, because, okay, play this. A lot of people know I played the game, okay? Right. So I have played NBA 2K24. Like I said, for y'all that don't know, Uncle Demi has, like he just said, he has played NBA 2K24. He's a next maker. I'd probably say at the tip top, if not the head of the next makers. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on it. But um, he's definitely at the top. So he has not played like and played with the builder. He's only played like play now on limited testing. But he'll get into that. Or and I was able to put input in that. But a lot of people also get it misconstrued to think that like I've seen everything. I haven't. And again, I'm very confined to what I can play and see when I'm te when I'm testing out NBA 2K24. So with the My Player Builder, I haven't seen it, but. I gave input on it and of course again like i always say you just use common sense you know what's broken in 23 you expect it to be fixed in 24 okay so that is automatically just by seeing that alone i automatically know that the speed of the ball is going to matter and obviously the best um dribble style is going to be the highest rated like off okay so that's where I have to kind of pause on that one. That's not always the case. That's not always the case. And I'm not trying to turn this into a debate video. I know I don't want to make this video too long. But the top tier dribble styles aren't always the best. Now, what 2K can do is go ahead and if they really, really play test this through. Because here's the thing. Everybody is always, not everybody, especially us content creators. We are going to have our ears to the streets and ears to the community. And we're going to figure out ways to manipulate the game so we can move faster with slower builds or how we can burst out certain animations that 2K just doesn't have enough bodies and probably enough real 2K minds to play through every single thing. And 2K already knows that. So when it comes to day one builds, Demi is 100% right when he says it's a good thing to see that certain animations from last year are going to be up in higher tiers, but it doesn't mean that's going to be there's not going to be an animation to replace it, if that makes sense. And this is coming from, like I said, wisdom and knowledge from yours truly, because I've been playing 2K for a long time. The community always finds a way to break it. But if Demi is telling the truth or his hunch is correct, then, yeah, it's going to be truly balanced in that sense as far as animations go. Rip. I know that. If Steve Francis is a 95... And if Michael Jordan dribble style is the highest one, then maybe your speed with balls gonna have to be in the high 90s now, which is gonna be crazy. Cause if you wanna get Steve Francis, that means you're gonna have to have like a 95 ball handle and then like a 90 something speed with ball, which how it should be to get the best six, right? But now that balances out the builder. When you have to make sacrifices, right? That's when you are going to get a balanced builder. When you have to sit there and think like, yo, like, you know, if I want to get the best, you know, dribble style to be able to explode out of my, um, I'm out of my dribbles and I got to get, you know, this, again, I'm just going on 23. I'm, I do not know what 24 best is going to be. So I'm going to say Michael Jordan beforehand, my, you didn't have to sacrifice. You can make a six, nine. You didn't have to go high on your speed with ball. You was able to go 75. And then that's instead of going 75 to 90, just I mean, listen from 75 speed ball to 90 speed ball in, the 20, in NBA 2K23 builder. That was enough to be able to give you a high three ball. So that's how you're able to make demigods. When you don't have to go high and sacrifice, you can still stay low and get the best animations. So let's just keep going. Again, you can assume that now passing style. We all know in 23, um, not having any passing style equipped was actually the best based upon 2K Labs and stuff. But the next... Another pause. 2K Labs... I know that they go really deep dive in testing everything, but they ain't always right either. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's a proven fact. There's certain things at 2K Lab, we can look at the information and go, yep, that's 100% right. And then there's other things where it's like, they even tell you themselves that it's hard to replicate certain things in certain scenarios. So 2K Labs isn't always 100% right. I would always say like LeBron James for 23 was the best passing style by far and i've had builds that literally unlocked every single passing style because i made a build that had like 90 pass accuracy lebron james but having no passing style does work as well because it doesn't give you as many load ups but once again it all comes down to how much 2k really want to balance this game because what they really could do is just make it so like hey 
You know, you could have a high ball handle, but if you don't have speed with ball, you're going to move like a turtle. You know, like they have to really balance that out, which isn't as hard as it sounds. They've had balance 2Ks before. And when I say balance, sometimes the best thing for balance is to make everything overpowered. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but if they make it so like, hey, like how Uncle Demi was saying, Steve Francis is at a 95 ball handle, but to get Hall of Fame ankle breaker, which should be overpowered, right? You have to have a 95 ball handle. So if those if things like that go hand in hand, and then it's like, hey, you know, if they're bringing defensive styles into the park, because defensive styles are my team for all my park players out there that don't know, and they tie it to perimeter defense, that's cool because then it's like, you know, if you want a Kawhi Leonard defensive style, you need to have a 93 perimeter defense. They have to kind of balance it out like that and make things, you know, overpowered if you have them in super high categories. That's my opinion, though. Next best one was LeBron James. So now I'm saying, like, all right, cool. LeBron James, if you want to get LeBron James, you know, ain't none of that 75. You probably got to have, like, an 85, a 90, maybe a 90. You know what I'm saying? That's how it should be. The best SIGs, again, like I'm saying, the best SIGs should be the highest rated, okay? Let's keep it moving, okay? Let's say for, let's talk about, uh, let's go, three-point shooting, okay? Three-point shooting. Agent Threes was a 92. Um, in order to get H3 Hall of Fame was a 99, okay? So that was actually pretty straight. It's actually nah, so 97. That's actually not a good one. Let's think about, oh, dunks, dunk animations. Quick drops was it was an eighty, but now it's gone. It's no longer in the game. All right. Yeah. So bye that, bye. Quick drops. But it don't even make but no difference. What are some of the other, other dunk packages animations that were really op? You know Russell Westbrook. We all know Russell Westbrook was one. Yeah. Yep. one like you know the, the, the league players know what I'm talking about. Um, and there was another one, athletic something that was really good. Clyde Drexler. Everybody used Clyde Drexler. Let me know down in the comment section if you ever use Clyde Drexler. I, I've never heard of anybody using Clyde Drexler. I've seen the animation. I know exactly what animation you're talking about. But I've never seen anybody just straight arm Clyde Drexler all throughout the wreck. I, I just don't see it. Or Park. Right? Um, that was a good one. Um, what's it? Oh, Scotty Pippen. That was another good one. Just straight arms to the basket was you know, a really good one. So then you expect those to be higher. But I also, fingers crossed, hopefully the vert will also require higher. You know what I mean? Because then that will allow, like, you know, um, let's say, for instance, you got to have, like, a 90-something now to be able to get these dunk packages. But instead of just have, only having to have a, you know... A but see, it's already tied to vert. Dunk packages are already tied to vert. You can't just have a high driving dunk rating and have, like, a 25 vertical and get Michael Jordan. So I, do you want it to be even higher? Because if that's the case, so what? You're going to make it so, like, instead of having an... 75 or an 80 to get one or to get certain dunks you're gonna have an 85 to a 90 and vertical yeah i don't know about that one uh 85 maybe you have to start pushing in the 90s to get that another thing contact dunks maybe that should be higher now instead of being you know an 85 maybe it's higher and i know like off rip on the surface you might be like dang no 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 i don't don't do that but all in all since again like i said when you go away from pie charts and you're in a free form builder that we've been for the past couple years, you have to make it to where sacrifices have to be made. And I know a lot of you are gonna say, well, no. And I seen the comments and I see a lot of people talk about like, I wanna, I don't wanna have a role player, I wanna have Michael Jordan. And that's great. But I mean, I make a Michael Jordan build, like again, 2K20, I made a Michael Jordan build based upon the pie chart and it was still great, right? But at the same time, you do want to see different builds out there on the court. Again, this is my opinion. That does not mean it's right. It don't mean that it's wrong. It's my opinion. And if you feel like you want to still have 6'9 demigods, that's, your, that's perfectly fine. And yeah, if y'all want to have 6'9 demigods, I'm not even going to address you. And that's perfectly okay to think that way. Because, you know, you're investing your money in that and whatever. That's cool. But again, like I say, I just feel like having a balanced builder is always going to be the best outcome for the community in a whole. A lot of people keep leaning on 2K20. It's just not me. I feel like 2K20 has been the best 2K we've had. Huh? Since, you know what I mean? And um, when it comes to especially with the bills and stuff, I do not think we should have pie charts, obviously. Uh, so, 19? You know, God. hopefully 2K24 is on a pie chart. 19 was where it was at. But if it's still free. 2K19 was a better 
representation of what balance is because everything was overpowered in its own right. Like if you've seen somebody with play, make, and take, and they were already dribbling, obviously, to create shots for themselves before they got it, you knew you were about to touch earth if you went up and played defense on them. If you've seen someone sharp take, you better know to get out there unless they're just, you know, truly nervous and they miss. They're going to green everything. Same with thing if you've seen someone with slasher take. You knew that they were going to try to contact dunk you, and they were going to have a good chance of doing it. Same with rim take. If you've seen someone lock take, you know they're about to rip you. Everything has to be overpowered in its own right for there to be balance in the game. That's just my take. Forming, hopefully, it's something that still will allow you to make sacrifices. If anything you get out of this, this video, just remember that. In order to have a great builder, sacrifices have to be made. And if, if, you're not, if I'm not being clear enough, what I'm saying is, is that you have to be able to sit there and be like, dang, I want this. Let's say, for instance, driving dunk, contact dunks in these animations. Well, I agree with Uncle Demi. We're not going to watch the rest of the video. If you want to go ahead and check out the rest of it, make sure to go ahead and check out Uncle Demi. But he's he's saying the same thing that I've always been preaching to y'all, just like I did in the beginning of the video. And I've been preaching it all year long, ever since I've been streaming. I've always given everybody this advice. Make the build to be safe and play the game that you want to play. They're going to release more tidbits of information in regards to animation requirements, what badges are going to look like, things like that. And as you receive this information, you should already have it in your mind what type of play style you want to be. Do you want to be a slasher? Do you want to be a lock? Do you want to be a primary shooter? Do you want to be someone who could create a shot for themselves and their teammates? Like, you have to know what it is that you want to do before you go into it. Trying to watch build videos and streamers you're going to end up seeing exploits. You're going to make a build going heavy into the exploits. 2K is going to then patch that exploit, and now you have a useless build. Make a build that is safe. Make a build that's for you. Like I said in the beginning, play your game. Hey, but if you don't want to miss out on any more content, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me if you're new. Turn on the bell icon. Make sure to switch to all so you don't miss out on any more content moving forward. And smash that like button. And if you guys ever want to catch me live, I do live stream every single day over on Twitch. We're getting close and close to that 1K over there. So make sure to go over there. Drop a follow. Link will be down in the description. Because until later on, that, because until later on, y'all, well, you can definitely catch me in the live stream. It's been your boy Dubs. And I love you as always. And uh, make sure to let me know down in the comment section. What build you plan on trying to make for NBA 2K24? Until later, y'all.